Here with R.J. Archer, the quarterback at William & Mary. R.J., welcome to CA Football Media Day. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You uh, spent your first two seasons at William & Mary playing at wide receiver, and then last year switched back to quarterback and uh, backed up Jake Phillips. How hard was it uh, for you last year not being on the field uh, quite as much? Uh, I mean, it's definitely tough, uh, you know, being a competitor and whatnot, and, you know, going from playing for two years every game, basically every play, to, to being back up and sitting on the bench. But, you know, it's, I think it's what needed to be done. Um, I gained a lot of experience. I learned a lot from Jake, and uh, you know he's one of my good friends, and so there's no hurt feelings or anything like that. But uh, I think it's what needed to happen. We need a little more depth, and hopefully I learned a lot from it and I'm ready to go this year. I was going to say, how Al anxious are you to get back on the field and uh, be the leader of this team and this offense this season? Uh, I'm really excited. You know, all summer, just all the captains, we've had everybody working hard, and uh, we've had a really good group down there in Williamsburg uh, working out all summer, and I think every Everybody's excited, and myself especially, just to get back out there, quarterback, and uh, I feel comfortable out there and ready to go for the season. How much does the uh, the two years at wide receiver help you as a quarterback? Do you kind of have a better feel of where to put the ball or kind of what those guys are going through? Is there any benefit? I would say most of all just the feel, the speed for the game. Um, you know, some people have to wait three or four years before they get a chance to play at the college level, and so I guess in that respect, I'm pretty lucky to be able to play my first couple of years and just get used to the speed of the game. That's, that was the biggest transition. Position, I think um, everybody's bigger and stronger and faster and you know even when I was playing receiver I kind of looked through it, looked at it through the eyes of a quarterback like if I was playing quarterback where would I want to see myself be open and stuff like that so you know I think I gained a lot from the experience. You got to start the Villanova game last season Villanova being one of the top teams in the in the nation and nearly led the team back to, to come back win. How much uh, t talk about that game first of all and, and maybe how much confidence you gained being able to perform well against a team like that. Yeah, you know, the, I look back on that game and I watched the film and everything. There's definitely a couple plays that I thought I left out there. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't play as a team and myself as well as we wanted to in the first half. And then the second half we sort of started to catch steam a little bit. And I think if we had another quarter or half a quarter, we could have made it a little more interesting. But, uh, you know, it, it was nice just going into that week. It wasn't, it wasn't, I was waiting for Jake to get hurt or something to happen. It was, you know, I was the man that week. And so it was kind of nice just to get a taste of how it is to prepare um, as a starting quarterback for a whole week and you know I think I'll use that a lot this season just especially starting camp right away. Uh, now Jake was kind of got a reputation as a drop back passer. You've, uh, is your style a little different than his and, and how will the offense maybe change a little bit with you with you and running? Uh, we'll see when we get there you know on August 9th um, it might change a little bit but uh, you know we, we've been in the spring we did the same stuff and you know in high school I was basically a drop back passer but I didn't I didn't have the best line in high school, so I was kind of, it may have been a blessing in disguise to say that um, I had to scramble a lot, so I think a lot of teams saw some athletic ability from that, and uh, so that's sort of how I get the reputation of more of a scrambler, but maybe we can incorporate a little bit of both and a little dual threat. Yeah. Well, coach Laycock's known as a, as a great quarterback coach, certainly been a, a great line of quarterbacks that have come through William & Mary. What's it like working with him, and how have you grown over your years uh, in the position? It's, you know, it's great. I've learned a a lot and um, especially you know some places you just work with a quarterback coach and whatnot and we you know William Mary we get to work with him directly and he takes a lot of pride in the quarterback that he puts out on the field so you know just him having the confidence to name me as a starter and whatnot like in the spring um, you know gives me a lot of confidence and uh, just seeing that he has that confidence in me is um, it's exciting and it's fun to work with him work with somebody that has the reputation he does and hopefully I'll learn a lot this year and we'll have a real good season. All right, Thanks for your time today and enjoy meeting you today. Thanks a lot. Thanks.